study partially ordered set and lattice. So first of all, we will study some examples related to maximal, minimal uh, elements, greatest elements, least element, least upper bound and greatest lower bound. In previous lecture, we had studied definition of maximal and minimal element. An element A is said to be maximal element if there is no element C in A such that A is less than or equal to C. An element B is said to be minimal element if there is no element C in A such that C is less than or equal to B. Here A, B, C are elements of the set A. So to find the maximal and minimal element of posets whose Hasse diagram is given. These are some of the Hasse diagrams of some posets. We have to find the maximal element and minimal element of these posets. In figure 1, this is the Hasse diagram of a poset consisting of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Clearly, we can see that 3 and 5 are the maximal element of this posets and 1 and 6 are the minimal element of this poset because an element A belonging to A is said to be maximal element if there is no element C in A such that A is less than equal to C. An element B belonging to A is said to be minimal element if there is no element C in A such that C is less than equal to B. And in this figure, F and G are the maximal element and A, B, C are the minimal element. Now to find the greatest and least element. We know that an element A belonging to A is said to be greatest element of A if x is less than or equal to a for all x belonging to a an element a belonging to a is called the least element of a if a is less than or equal to x for all x belonging to a so from this diagram we can see that the greatest element is f because all other elements are uh, lower than this element or less than this element and A is the least element because all other elements are greater than this element and in this diagram the greatest element is E but this does not have the least element because we know that the least element is always a unique. We cannot have more than one least element but here minimal elements are A and B but this does not have the least element. Now we will find the greatest lower bound and least upper bound of elements or process whose Hasse diagram is given. Now the least upper bound suppose P together with less than or equal to um, uh, order relation defined on P, P less than equal to B a poset and A then an element X belonging to P is said to be least upper bound if X is an upper bound of A and X is less than or equal to Y of all upper bounds Y of A. Least upper bound is also unique. So in this diagram the upper bounds of A F of the set AF are AF. These are the elements AF. The upper bounds of AF are B, C, D and E. And least among these upper bounds is B. It means least upper bound of AF is B. And we know that the greatest lower bound, an element X belonging to P is said to be greatest lower bound if x is a lower bound and y is less than or equal to x for all lower bounds y of a. So in this case uh, for the set af 
the upper bound upper bound of af sorry upper bound we have discussed lower bounds of af do not exist only so there is no greatest lower bound now we consider the set ce this is c and this is e so upper bound of c is d and this is also the least upper bound we denote least upper bound by supremum ce and lower bound of ce is a b f it means greatest lower bound of ce is b because it is the greatest among all the lower bounds because lower bounds are a b and f and greatest among it this is b now what is latest a partially ordered set l together with relation less than equal to define on it is said to be latest if every two elements in the set l has unique least upper bound and a unique greatest lower bound the post set l together with the relation less than equal to is latest if for a, every ab belonging to l supremum ab and infimum ab exist in l supremum ab means a joint p or it also depends on the relation defined on it in case of sets it is a union b or sometimes it is a plus b infimum of ab is a meet b and uh, if the uh, relation is uh, inclusion then it is a intersection b and in some cases it is a dot b to show that ps together with inclusion is a latest where s is any non empty set and ps is its power set we have discussed in previous lecture that ps together with inclusion is a power set first condition for being latest is that it is a power set so this we have discussed in previous lecture that it is a power set now we will show that it is a a uh, latest it will be a latest if every two elements have greatest lower bound and least upper bound means supremum or infimum if a and b are any two elements of ps then we know that supremum of ab means a joint p is a union b and infimum of ab a meet p is a intersection p and we know that a union b also belongs to power set of s and a intersection b also belongs to power set of s therefore ps together with the relation inclusion or is a subset of is a latest so uh, we can uh, take one example to illustrate all this suppose we consider s equal to abc then we know that power set of s is phi a b c ab bc ca and abc we know that its hasse diagram is this this also we have discussed in previous lecture if we uh, find the union of any two elements suppose phi and a union of phi and a is a so it belongs to this ps union of b and c is bc this also belongs to this union of this two is abc this also belongs to this so union of any two elements of a set consisting of two elements belongs to this set it means supremum of uh, ab exist in ps also phi intersection a is phi a intersection b is phi c intersection ab is phi ab intersection bc is b so intersection of each uh, uh, pair of elements also exist in this so it means in prime of f any two elements of ps also exist it means it is a latest and this is the hasse diagram of this latest one more example for any uh, positive integer m dm denote the set of divisors of m ordered of divisibility then dm together with the divisibility is a latest here supremum of ab is least common multiple of ab means lcm of ab and infimum of ab is greatest common multiple means oh sorry it should should be gcd greatest common divisor of ab it is d here for any pair ab in d so infimum is greatest common divisor of ab and supremum is least common multiple of ab means lcm of ab gcd of ab suppose we consider d36 
uh, we know that divisors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. This example also we have discussed in previous lecture that this is a poset. Here we started 1, 1 divides 2, so we write 2 here. Then uh, next is 3, 1 divides 3, so we write here. Next is 6, 2 and 3 divide 6, we write it here and so on. So this is the Hasse diagram of uh, this set D36. Since each subset of two element has least upper bound, means LCM of 1, 2 is 2, LCM of 2, 3 is 6, LCM of 9 and 12 is uh, uh, 36. So because LCM of every two uh, pair of elements belongs to this, so it means L supremum exists. Also greatest uh, common divisor of any pair of elements also belongs to this. It means least uh, supremum of AB. AB means any two elements of this uh, set and infimum of AB exists in this D36. Therefore, this is a latest. Thank you.